I think I'm supposed to go down to this little point up here. Yep, I see something. And you can see the ship, too. Oh, whoa. What the heck happened? All of a sudden, fog popped up. Something significant happened. Okay, there it is. Okay, that's weird looking. Sacrifice a carp on the Viking altar to summon the ancient monster. Alrighty, Scandinavian mystery, Phantom Drakkar. Well done, you've greatly prepared for monster hunting. So we've got the steel leader. You can claim those. And now the Scandinavian mystery, the armored big head. That looks a lot like. Dionychus, which was an ancient fish from the Age of Fishes, the Devonian period. I think that's how you pronounce that name, but it had teeth a lot like that. Unfortunately, the pages of the diary describing the monster's origin are lost. Perhaps by catching the monster, you will uncover the truth. The locals have placed warning signs, evil carp, around the lakes where the monster was spotted and marked them on the map. Only the bravest can solve the mystery of the invulnerable monster and free the souls of the Vikings. May the name of the hero who defeats the monster be celebrated for ages. May Odin protect you. Yep, that one sign did say that. Evil carp. Where I was fishing earlier. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. Armor Big Head Monster is wake awakening. Oh, look, the fish from... <laughs> he's... Looks like he's breathing. So we need to go back to our original spawn point where we were catching the big head carp. That's a bit of a trek, too. Well, let me go ahead and get back to the map. So we need to equip the Steel Eater. Actually, okay, we have a Titanium Leader. We need a flow, flow ride like this one, so we already have that. Here's a Steel Leader. Put that on there. I assume that we're going to want to use the same bait. That's just a guess. Just... Oh, boiled catfish. Oh boy, do I have boiled catfish? No, it's boiled crawfish. Okay. There it is. We've got 42 of those. We've got the steel leader. Doesn't tell us any depth, so we're going to go back to... Let's see this fields of gold and we're gonna go back to our spot we saw the sign I just thought it was something cute I didn't realize that that was when it said evil carp that that's what they meant <laughs> All right.
right. You look at the sign. There it is. So, huge and evil carp. So this must be where we fish for him. Now let's see what happens, guys. I'll throw it out there just like we always did. There's our other spot. I wonder if he's going to make some noise like the other ones used to. There's where we caught the big heads. All right, guys, I did discover something just looking at this map again. Seems like I need to really start looking at the map. Apparently, there are locations to catch this guy. As you can see, there are little... Let's see, catch armor big head evening or night. I don't know why they had that sign there, because honestly, <laughs> there isn't a marker there. So that kind of threw me a little bit. But... There is a spot that's fairly close, right over here to the left. I think what I might do is go ahead and go to the main map. This is something you can do anytime you need to, but if you want to go back to where you left off, click on a, a spot, then click back. Now we need to go this way. Yep, that means more walking. All the way down here, because this seems to be really close to shore. So, now we have to go this direction. This is a really, really large lake. Okay, there's a sign. I see there was a sign on the other one that said Evil Carp. Yep, it says Huge and Evil Carp. But I thought that meant he was right out there, but it doesn't. Let's see. Well, maybe. He's out. That's out of ways, though. I'm not sure I can cast out that far. This one I know I can cast out to. Well, let's do this, guys. Let's put a marker on it. That way we can see it once we get there. Now let me do it? Apparently not. That's kind of weird. Ah, it won't let me do it. That sucks. Huh, that's interesting. It won't let you do it. You just gotta... I guess hope for the best. <laughs> Alright, let's see how close we are. No, we're still not far close enough. Yeah, I'm thinking since this is a big fish, I might need to get a bigger hook on it anyway. But what's this? Say? Yep, another sign that says huge and evil carp. Let's see. Well, I want to get as close to it as I possibly can. Huge and evil carp again. Okay, I I need to find an open spot. I may have to go back to that other area I was... Wait a minute, here we go. This is going to have to be it. Don't think I'm going to get any closer than that. I still cannot believe I can't put a marker there. Oh, never mind. I just heard him. <laughs> he was just right over there. I just heard him. Oh, 
Well, let me get my rod out here. Yeah, four out's not gonna cut it. I'll just, if he's as big as he sounds, thinking a 10 aught, maybe even a cap and hook. Let's try. A, well, if we try a barbless hook, we'll get more points for him. Okay, I need to turn a little bit more this way. I can't believe I can't put a marker on that. Well, let's put it right near it so that... Yeah, that's better. Hopefully that's far enough out there. Yeah, see, it's a lot farther out there than I thought it was. I have no idea how long I'm going to have to wait. There he is. He is big. Okay, he's biting, guys. He is biting. Something tells me we're going to need to take that down a little bit just to make sure. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> he could have snapped that hook right off. All right, this is going to be a fight. I can put a little more on it, but he's... Remember, this is a barbless hook, so I've got to be careful. It'll get off a lot easier. He's still taking it out. Well, this is a big lake, so he can run with it. But I've got 983 feet of line, so... Shouldn't be a problem. I wonder if I can bump that up a little more. How big is this fella? Big. Very big. Okay, I cannot seem to get him any closer than... There we go. 270 feet. <laughs> okay. We're gaining on him a little bit, but we're going to be at this for a minute, guys, I think. Nope, there he goes again. Yeah, we're going to be at this for a minute. Jeez. Look at him go. This is like fishing for... a marlin or something. Several boring minutes later... Alright guys, we are finally making some headway on this guy. It's been about maybe a good 10 minutes, but it looks like he's starting to pick up again a little bit. They always have a little bit of a surge near the end. Yeah, this time it's a, been a little bit more of a Pumping action I've had to use with the rod to get him to come in. We're going to definitely need the net for this guy. If I can get him to come in now. 
keeps taking you back out to 40 feet. See what I mean? Misting, that got it. <laughs> Keeps taking it right back out to thirty feet again. Now he's going out to forty. Pretty much had him, and then he got away again. Jeez. This is a tough fish to get in. Can't get him any closer than 17 feet. All right, let's see if we can get him this time. Still didn't get him. Jeez. All right, we got him finally. Jeez whiz. Holy crap, that's a big fish. <laughs> look at this fella. Yeah, he does look like Dionychus. And Dionychus was an armored fish from the Devonian period, probably the biggest predator of that time period. the origin. That's where I think the origin is. Let's take a look at this fella. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is a vicious look. Look at the teeth. That is what kind of teeth that the Dionychus had. It was actually part of its skull. That is a monster, all right. That's a, that is a true monster from what we've seen so far. Ninety one point eight inches, three hundred fifteen point six two three pounds, glowing red eyes. I can't even see my face. <laughs> that is a vicious looking critter. All right. That is thirty one thousand. No, no. Yeah, 31,000. I'm, I'm right. 
946 XP. I'm going to level up, guys. Let's get the Viking Amulet from the monster. There's the Viking Amulet, which we claim. Level up to 71, which has opened up more tackle boxes, more reels, flat spoons, which I think that's the first time I've opened those up. Offset hooks, and even banana bread. It's not bad, not bad at all. It says bring the ancient amulet to the Phantom Jakar at night. So I don't know if that means I have to get close. I'm not close though. Let's see. Yeah, it's way back over here. I'm trying to figure out if there's a quicker way to get there, but I don't think so. It's gonna have to be another trek again. But let's go ahead and get to the main map and I will bring you back once I make my way to the ship. Alright guys, we are almost there finally. We need to come through here and try to get as close to it as we can. I think when I came over here I was close enough. I don't think we're going to have to get on the boat. If we have to get on the boat then I just missed. Yep, that was it. Scandinavian Mystery, Armored Big Head, you made it. Three bait coins and the Armored Big Head mount. That item is placed in my backpack. So we finally completed that mission. The next one is now called the Peruvian Mystery, the Phantom Long Canoe. It says you read us Read a story about vampires on the fourth page of the diary. The coordinates from the diary lead to you to Maku Maku. Local villagers told you that vampire fish often appear in the lake's waters on the eve of All Saints Day. A sign of their hunt is the appearance of a ghostly canoe, which these fish sank along with the fishermen. On the ghostly canoe, you found marks of sharp teeth. It's likely the work of one of the vampire ship fish. But which one? You need to catch all the toothy fish and check them. So, we need to use silicone fingers. <laughs> That's a silicone finger lure. 13,000 cash. So that should be interesting. That is our next mission, guys. So in this one, we managed to level up again. And with the XP we're getting, actually, the more of these we do, the more I can level and closer I can get to level 75, which means I could go and stay at the Congo. That would be nice. But it looks like we got a, two missions here. Okay, we finally see what all the missions are going to be. We've got the Peruvian Mystery, Phantom Long Canoe, the Bolivian Mystery, Phantom Flute, Amazonian Mystery, Phantom Steamboat, and Congo Mystery, Phantom Old Ferry. There may be enough time to do this, guys. It may just be enough time. We've got three out of the seven. And if we complete this, what do we get? A Kaji no Ri pass for three days. Not bad. Oh, wow. Katana Soul, seven foot by two inch rod. And this is a heavy rod. I mean, it's almost a sea rod. That would be awesome. Looks like it goes up to 132 pound test. We also get a Real at 127.8, the Samaris Shadow. And a Southwester hat. <laughs> Lightweight hat that buys a series of sea adventures. Well, that's not bad, but we've got to get all these completed first. Alright, guys. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Not sure if we're going to make this as one or two episodes. May have to take two. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.